something's gone wrong with the world. I, I, it's funny for me to be in this position among so many, I think, great journalists and nonfiction writers. Uh, I was part of the host of the Paris Review Gala in New York um, about a month ago, and Philip Gurevich said something very sacrilegious and um, in some ways horrifying. And I thought it was a very brave statement in New York City, which is, this is not a great age of fiction. You know, last week I was in Oxford, Mississippi, and I visited William Faulkner's grave and home. He wasn't there, <laughs> to my chagrin. There was a great age of, non of fiction, and this is not it. It is, however, a great age for nonfiction. And when people ask me why there's, there are so many readers for memoirs and so few for fiction, I like to quote Wallace Stevens, people should like poetry the way a child likes snow. And they would if poets wrote it. So if fiction writers were doing their jobs, we wouldn't be stealing their readers. That's the truth. That is the truth. The truth is the compelling narratives, the passions, um, uh, there's a lot of kind of hyper-intellectual fiction that I just never much liked. And a lot of the books that I'm still really passionate about were written by people now dead, including Mr. Faulkner. Uh, from whom I learned a lot, uh, mainly not to drink a fifth of Jack Daniels every day. Um, it really hinders your writing career. So it's not about how bad a butt whipping you've had. It's about some level of awareness in which you can, can demonstrate how perhaps there's been a change in character. Again, I'm talking about first person, but I would think those of you who are uh, journalists and historians and biographers, the same thing would apply, right? That where is the character that there's a change in character over the course of this, just like in a, any narrative? What is the conflict? For me, it's with myself, but where is there that transformation? Um, I just want to finish by saying that I do think this is, that nonfiction is in a position, not, well, sort of the way novelists were, were writing about, Dickens was writing about urban, gritty, urban realities, while poets in the 19th century were writing about fairies and knights in armor and wondering why people didn't buy poetry that much anymore. It's the same thing is happening right now with a lot of fiction writers. I mean, I have, there are a lot of great fiction writers on the planet. I think Lori Moore is a great fiction writer. I think Mary Gateskill is great. I think Katherine Harrison is a great fiction writer. You know, I think Don DeLillo is a great fiction writer. It's not that there aren't great fiction writers, but I think right now at this point in history, this, these genres are expressing something that people are spiritually starving to hear because they're telling real stories in a, in a very convincing, impressive, moving way. And, you know, I, I think we're not, there's, there could not have been a conference of this size in nonfiction in 1970. So um, you're going to out earn all those suckers is what I want to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.